Vatican City, the smallest state on Earth. The 44 hectares that surround St. Peter's Basilica in Rome is home to the Pope and headquarters to the Roman Catholic Church and its 1.2 billion followers. It is also the epicentre of the Holy See's diplomatic network. Beyond the bronze doors of the Apostolic Palace and its attentive Swiss Guard in their tricolour breeches and handsome biela wool capes, the Papal Diplomatic Corps are busy administering Pope Francis's ever-ambitious foreign affairs agenda. Pass through panelled lifts, marble staircases, grand halls, secret passages and loggias painted by Raphael. And you'll reach the Vatican's Office of the Secretariat of State and its section for relations with states, the Pope's Foreign Ministry. Here, intricate gilded 16th century maps of Africa, Asia, Europe and the Holy Land adorn the department's loggia, a hint at how long the Catholic Church has been engaging with foreign lands. Rome is also host to foreign diplomatic missions affiliated to the Holy See. Among them is the British ambassador, Nigel Baker, who resides in a loft-style residence in a restored palazzo filled with paintings from the UK government's art collection and his own more avant-garde canvases. Peace and humanitarian issues are high on Pope Francis's diplomatic agenda. Today, the Holy Father was receiving guests from Antigua before jetting off on a tour of Africa, including a risky visit to the war-torn Central African Republic. With Francis at the helm, often on the back seat of a small blue Ford, each one is a foot soldier for his increasingly bold brand of papal diplomacy. For Monocle, I'm Sophie Grove.